Hello everybody, my name is Mark and this is Why I Hate the World. How's everyone doing out there? So uh, last week I made a video about Obamacare and the uh, Supreme Court's uh, decision um, upholding it. And uh, I got a comment from a guy named The Mole, or rather XX, The Mole XX, right? And for um, any of you who have been subscribed to me for a while, you know that I made a video um, about this guy a while ago. Um, I had a uh, kind of a, a debate over private message with him, you know, regarding the conservative stance on healthcare. And, uh, you know, he was generally a nice guy in, you know, his messages to me. Um, I admit I can be kind of a jerk, you know. In fact, I kind of, uh, I kind of baited him a little bit, man. But for his part, um, you know, he was actually very polite, right? Um, which uh, kind of shocked me when I got this message here from him. So, anyway, here's the comment. <clears throat> to be completely frank, fuck your grandmother. <laughs> Why should a private company that is a collection of land, labor, and capital, which was put together without help from the government and is essentially just property of the executives and shareholders, be forced to do anything that is not directly violating the rights of others. Yes, it's sad that some people, a minuscule number by comparison, suffer in this way, but why should they serve to burden hundreds of millions of healthy people, the mole? Well, uh, you've, heard, you've all heard me talk about my grandmother before on this channel. Um, I bring her up a lot, especially when it comes to uh, health care and the debate against, you know, Obamacare and, and that kind of thing. And it's because, um, you know, she has muscular dystrophy, right? And she's one of these people that she can't work. She's, she's not able to take care of herself. And she's a good example of the kind of person that these programs are designed to help, okay? Somebody like her, who is incapable of supporting herself, right? is a prime candidate for, for things like, you know, Social Security and Medicare, right? And I think this comment here, you know, from the mole was actually, I was kind of surprised because it was so rude, but um, it doesn't really piss me off, really, because I think it illustrates perfectly everything that's wrong with the current for-profit model of healthcare that we have in this country, right? I mean, it, it pretty much, like, that, that comment is, like, the best, like, the best, like, reason to have socialized medicine. It's the best, like, reason to have Obamacare, right? Even though Obamacare isn't really socialized medicine, but whatever. I mean, because um, the thing is, he's absolutely right. You know, why would a company or a corporation, right, um, why would they insure somebody like my grandmother? You know, a corporation, right... The reason they exist is to produce a profit, okay, purposely, you know, so why would they purposely sign up someone who they know they're going to lose money on, all right? I mean, it makes good business sense that if you're running a for-profit insurance company that you would avoid people that you're going to lose money on, you know? Somebody like my grandmother is 100% loss. I mean, that only makes sense, you know? You know, if you, ran a, if you had a store, right? and there was a brand of purple socks that nobody bought, would you stock that brand of socks? Not really, you know? And I think, you know, you know, why so why would they purposely, you know, why would somebody who runs a company like that sign up somebody they know they're going to lose money on, right? And the thing is, it's that it's because we're not talking about a store, okay? You know, we're not talking about merchandise here. We're talking about people's lives, okay? We're not selling shoes or baseball hats or fucking tacos here, okay? This is like, healthcare is like, you know, the, not just the quality of people's lives we're talking about, but like sometimes even life and death, all right? And it's fucking, you know, this view that a lot of the conservatives that, you know, Mr. Mr. The Mole here fucking, um, you know, espoused, right? You know, it infers that it's necessary that a certain number of people in the population like not be covered because there's no way to profit from insuring those people you know what I'm saying like basically he said it himself like you know it's a minuscule number right too bad that they have to suffer but why should the rest of us have to uh, you know make up the slack for that and I think you know the problem here is that maybe you know there are cer there's certain things in this world that we really shouldn't be profiting from you know I mean, is it even, is it right, is it morally right to profit from somebody's illness or somebody's death, okay? I don't think it is, you know? 
I mean, the fact is that people do, all right? Doctors and fucking, you know, hospitals and insurance companies and shit, they profit from people's, you know, chronic illnesses and death, right? But is that the right thing, you know? I mean, maybe we should put an end to that. You know, maybe, like, you know, we shouldn't be profiting from people's illnesses, all right? And maybe the fact that someone in this country who's faced with a potentially life-threatening disease and has to go out and pay up the ass to a corporation in order to not die and then they lose their fucking house and then they end up like you know destitute if not homeless and shit like that maybe that's you know just fucking wrong you know I mean maybe that shouldn't be allowed has anybody like thought about that alright so anyway so this kinda got me to thinking what exactly do conservatives care about okay because they don't really seem to care about sick people or they don't care about poor people they don't care about saving the environment or fucking homeless people or you know they could give a shit about religious freedom unless we're talking about their freedom to push their religion upon you okay when it's other people's fucking religions they don't seem to care about that and you know they, they don't seem the only thing they seem to care about is fucking themselves okay now you know, the, well, let's talk about, like, you know, since we're talking about healthcare, let's talk about Obamacare, you know. And the, the big objection to Obamacare from the conservative side isn't any of the provisions in the bill. You know, it's not the, um, the, uh, the provision where, uh, say, children get to stay on their parents' uh, health insurance until they're 26. You know, everybody liked that one. Or um, even, even that uh, um, sick people, you know, can't get dropped or whatever. They like that one, too. Or that... Um, you know, a health insurance company has to provide one. They have to sign somebody up if they have a pre-existing condition. They like that. The thing they don't like is the mandate, which is, you know, this tax now because the Supreme Court rebranded it as a tax. So they don't like the mandate tax because they say it's leading to big government, you know. That's another one of those fucking bullshit conservative code words, big government. All right. You know, the conservatives, they don't really give a shit about big government when big government is building a fucking border wall across the southern border to keep all the Mexicans out, right? Bullshit, okay? They don't seem to give a fuck about big government when fucking, like, you know, President Mission Accomplished went and bombed fucking Iraq on, like, made up, you know, got us into a war over some made up bullshit. You know, like when Colin Powell went up in front of the United Nations and lied his ass off to get us involved in that war, they weren't saying a goddamn thing, alright? So, fucking, they're even, you know, even um, George Bush went up and they, they passed um, Medicare Part D. That was his health, you know, his health fucking program was called Medicare Part D, right? That was a scheme where the health insurance companies got to pick off all of the healthy people and charge them more than what they would be getting under Medicare. So that not only does the government get all the sick people and have to pay more, this, this fucking, this program added... 1.3 trillion dollars to the deficit, right? Why? Because Bush didn't raise taxes for it, because they didn't provide a mandate for it. So he just basically just took his program that added 1.3 trillion dollars to the fucking debt. You know, in the meantime, you know, you have Obamacare, right? Obamacare, because there's a mandate, actually reduces the deficit, right? And by 2029, the deficit will be reduced by 1.3 trillion dollars. See, that's the fucking difference when you have leadership who know, you know, people who actually think things through and aren't afraid to, like, do what is necessary, okay? You can't, you can't run a program without, you know, you can't have government without taxes, right? You can't fucking have, like, a healthcare program without raising revenue, okay? And this, that's the difference is that, you know, when they do shit, it ends up costing lots of money. When the, you know, when the Democrats do shit, yeah, it ends up costing money, but their shit is, like, covered because they actually raised fucking taxes, right? It's just, it just blows my fucking mind. And then they're gonna turn around and say, oh, it's a big government. Fuck you. Seriously. Like, and I think, you know, this is a good example. Um, get some water first. Sorry. But um, I think this is a good example, you know, that it, it's time for the left, the loony liberal tree hugger left like me, right? It's time to take back the moral high ground. I mean, you know, I, I kind of admit it, yes, I, I, am, I am for higher taxes on certain people. You know, I think people who make over a certain amount of money should pay more in taxes, right? And the reason why I want people to, people to pay taxes, right, I'll even, you know, raise them on me too, okay? The reason why I want this to go up, I want taxes, is because you, it costs money to have a decent society, okay? I want my taxes that I pay for to go towards 
building a better society, all right? I wanted to go towards hiring police officers and hiring fucking fired, you know, firemen so that we don't have these giant forest fires and shit. And to hire fucking teachers so that we can teach kids how to read and like, you know, so that they can go out and get jobs and support the fucking economy. So then that way I have a job. See how it works, okay? You know, and it's because, you know, but it's it's because, you know, we, we need to take... The, the moral high ground belongs with us, okay? We want our, you know, we want to support our society, and in order to do that, it takes taxes, right? And those things need to be spent on, the taxes need to be spent on the society and not going towards enriching fucking bankers. Right, I mean, but not only that, you know, it's, it's just, you know, the, the moral high ground, we need to take it back, okay? You know, it's wrong to profit from somebody's death, all right? It's wrong to profit from somebody's imprisonment, okay? I would even go as far as say to say that it's wrong to profit from education, right? Well, why is it like, at least at least K to 12, okay? Maybe the argument can be made for higher education college, right? But, you know, why is it that certain people who can pay get a better K to 12 education than others? You know, what the fuck is wrong with that? You know, and, I mean, it's wrong that we have you know, that people aren't able to get health care, right, that we have millions of people homeless in this fucking country, right, with no place to go, you know, it's wrong that we're laying off teachers, right, but at the same time we're spending, you know, fucking money to go, like, bomb people in Pakistan, you know, those unmanned aerial drones, those things cost, like, four and a half million dollars each, you know, why are we spending money on that, but at the same time laying off teachers, it doesn't make any fucking sense, right, and it's it's really you know it's as far as i can tell it's it's this attitude like this it's this fuck your grandmother attitude that's fucking this country up if you look at all the problems in this country it all the problems in this country in one way or another stem from the fact that we're not investing in society the way that we used to all right and until that shit turns around america is going to be fucked up and it's going to continue to get more fucked up every single year all right that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it, folks. Adios.